How you going guys? My name is Lee. I'm Scott. We're here at M4A1 Gel Blaster Sunshine Coast for another Blaster Review Tuesday. Definitely Tuesday this time. Yeah, and it is a Tuesday today. And here we have the Gen 9. Gen 8.5. Gen 8. Sorry, the Gen 8.5. Sorry, stop I again. sell it, you repair it. So we know it's an 8.5. Alright guys, um, before we get into the unboxing of this gel blaster, let me just run you a few, uh, through, through a few, a things. few <laughs> quick <laughs> items with this gel blaster. This one here guys is nylon, nylon receiver, nylon gearbox, nylon gears, beautiful blaster. Let's jump into the unboxing oh, with Scotty. Click. Alright guys, so now we've had the unboxing, here's what we get in the box. So we have our flash suppressor, the body of the Gen 8.5, magazine, the optic, battery 7.4 volt, and stock. Uh, we also have safety glasses as always guys. Very important, those ones. Always important. Mm. And a little bottle you can put pre-made gels in to refill on the run. So now I'll set it up. How you would set up your Gen 8.5, Scott? Out of the box, yeah, this is how I'd set mine up. Yep. So it's pretty easy to put together, which is why it's an awesome beginner's blaster. I should actually put the battery in. Always put, slide it in end first so you can connect terminals, dorsal fin to the gap. Yep. Don't put that so, in upside down, guys. Yeah, never force them. Mm -hmm. If in doubt, just relax, take a breather and get back to it. Cool. Right, mine out, so like the long. Uh, the little tab under here, you need to pull that out. So she's active, so it's actually a little functional. Not the most accurate for distance, but it's great little beginner's optic. One set to where you like it. Mine two back. Nice and tight, and that's how I set up from box a Jin Ming Gen 8.5. Yeah. So, cool. nice and simple. Yeah, yeah. Let's have a chat, Scott, about what we can actually do to this blaster. Yeah. So, I'll grab that one off here. Right uh, this one, guys, is running a Gen 8 gearbox. As stated before, it is nylon. So, this one is going to be a little bit stronger than the previous model blaster. This one does come with the stronger fibrous nylon gears as well, like the Gen 9. Yep. So, yeah, great for upgrades, guys. I recommend a spring, a green O-ring. Um, you can do a stronger motor, just don't go too crazy uh, with that speed. But definitely, guys, these are a great base. Uh, having the nylon receiver as well, you can do your metal front fishbone, a uh, metal rear buffer tube adapter as well and really strengthen this uh, bad boy up. Yep. For $165, guys, this is an exceptional... 160. Uh, oh, 160, sorry, guys. 160 uh, for this blaster. Yep. Exceptional value for money. Great just to get out there on the field and to really learn about modifying blasters as well. Yep. Uh, really good. Um, that actually be base. one of my favorite gearboxes out of them all. I can... Yeah, my, my I am UMP, a V2 guy, but definitely... I prefer a V2, but out of a Gen 8, yeah. my UMP is actually running this very gearbox. Yep. Uh, I fell over and snapped mine yep. uh, mid-game, yep. so I, yep. I use the gearbox yep. into my UMP. So yeah. it's a very customizable and modifiable base. Yep. So to learn, having a, a cheaper price point to start off with, yep. gives you more options to learn and upgrade and evolve as a gel baller. Definitely, and again guys, very strong base. Yeah. Um, still does come with your plastic um, batter, uh, barrel, barrel. <laughs> batter, batter. Uh, barrel, so you can upgrade this one to an aluminium one, guys. But um, plastic front, plastic rear, nylon receiver, yep. nylon handle. Plenty of you guys were snapping your handles with the previous model Gen 8, yep. so definitely stronger again there. Bit more to Plastic magazine it's... though, but yeah. I prefer a plastic mag over a metal one. There's yep. less stress on my mag releases. Yep. So I like stuff that's really durable and robust. So yeah. having a lighter mag means it's easier for kids, well, my kids to carry or me. 
Yep. Uh, with my a bad back, but nylon, nice and yeah. strong. Awesome, guys. We're now going to run into uh, the out of tens. We've got um, four um, items we mark out of ten. Yep. Um, we're going to start off with the firepower, Scott. Yeah. What are you going to rate this one here? Shooting at 190 FPS out of the box to 200. I reckon it's great. Um, I like a, a more upgraded, so I like the high twos. Yep. So I'd give it a, I'd give it a five. Yep. Out of the box. Yeah, out of the box, guys, running 7.4 volt, I'd give it around a 6 as well. It's definitely not the worst, but it's definitely not the greatest, but yep. it is a great starter blaster. Um, yeah, guys, uh, we're going to go for durability as number 2. What are you going to yep. rate this one, Scott? The nylon is really great. Um, I'd say for mainly the, the, res the receiver, yep. um, gearbox and gears, yep. because I've seen how much I can upgrade it. Yep. Um, I'd be given uh, eight, yep. so seven point five eight. Yep. Yeah, guys, I would rate this one a ten for receiver, but as the attachments on the front and rear are still of your ABS, I'll drop that back down a little bit. So yeah, roughly an eight as well. Yep. Uh, definitely room to improve there. But a great beginning, beginning set. Yeah, definitely. Um, mods. What are you going to rate this one, Scott, for modability? That'd, that'd be a ten. Yep, uh, uh, 10 being Gen 8. It's, and it's a classic, it's been around a while, yep. this shape, so, you, and the amount of mods we have for it, yeah. I can stick on my, I'm a sucker for the own defense stock, so I can stick yep. that on it. Uh, I can go crazy with my different fish bones, uh, alloy barrels, upgrades internally and externally, there's a shopping list, yep. and it's a long shopping list, so that's yeah. why I give that one a 10. Yeah, mod ability guys, I'll give it a 10, being Gen 8, sky's the limit, as we always say, yep. Gen 8. Yeah, when in doubt, Gen 8 out. <laughs> um, last one, looks. Um, what are you going to rate it, Scott? Looks it's, wise. It's a classic look. Yeah. Um, you can't really go wrong with your basic and full shape. Yep. Uh, it's nice, it's classic. Um, mm. It's not a little black dress. So I'd say it's a 9. Yeah, cool. And I am an M4 lover, guys. Um, I will rate this one a 7, though, out of the box, purely because. I will change the outer components, but definitely yeah. great blaster. Awesome. In conclusion, guys, with the Jinming Gen 8.5, great blaster. Definitely recommend bringing your family down to yeah. get a hold of a few of these bad boys. One for your daughter, one for your son, five for yourself. Who knows? Grab well, a heap. You get a couple each, you can change how they look as well, but yeah. you can't beat that price point of 160 yeah. and then. $10 yeah. for gels, you got 160, you know, 170, and gels you've for got, days. Yeah, you got like roughly 12,000 gels 20, yeah. with that as well. So, if you're looking for one of these bad boys, guys, we've got uh, five shops at the yeah. moment, soon to be another, what is that, nine all up? Yeah. Yeah, so. Yeah, I'm not wearing shoes, so it's about that. Yeah, and online, m4a1gelblaster.com if you cannot get down to any of our shops in person. Uh, make sure to follow us on Instagram. Do we want to list the shops? Uh, we've just got anyone who's new. Sunshine Coast. So we've got Sunshine Coast, yep. Toowoomba, Moray Field. The Rocks, Moray Field, uh, Adelaide. Yeah, we now have Wynnum. Yep. Wynnum came out last Tuesday. Yeah. Yep. From memory. Thursday. Yep. So Thursday. Thursday. So Thursday. It's, they both start with T. Yeah, so that's, so that's six trading guys, and we have also uh, Ipswich, Ipswich yes, and, Ippy. and second store at the Sunshine Coast. So Bullcock yeah. Street, right yeah. beside Snap Fitness. That's right, so yeah. Easy to see now, being right beside Snap, it's one of the bigger buildings, stands That's out. Right. So yeah. if you can't find us, look for Snap Fitness. Yep. You may be working out, maybe not. That's right. I probably won't be, but you may be. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, definitely yeah. come check us out. Yeah, uh, like us, subscribe, follow. Yeah, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. What do we always say here? If you don't like the videos, guys, double Hit tap. Hit it twice. Hit it twice. Show that yeah. hatred, just, just <laughs> smash that button twice. Yep. And if you do have any positive comments that you would like to leave below, guys, feel free. Hit us up. Uh, we love creating this content for you guys. We do Brilliant. everything just, we can. If there's stuff so, you want to see yep. done on, on a video, on a review Tuesday, yep. let us know. Because we will yeah. be getting on to some of the newer blasters. Yep. Um, Got and a some coming out. Yep. Some of the other yeah. ones we haven't done yet. Yeah. Um, we'll definitely be hitting them up very soon. Yep. Just let us know underneath. Thanks for tuning in, guys, to this 
Gel Blaster review Tuesday here at M4A1 Sunshine Coast with, with Lee and That's Scott. Good. That's right. Remember, <laughs> stay safe and stay legal, guys. Yep. See you next time.